Breaking tonight, Russian President Vladimir Putin telling the West to back off. This comes amid international concern over his troop buildup on the Ukraine border. Here in the U.S., one top military commander says the chances of nuclear war are actually increasing. National security correspondent Jennifer Griffin tells us about it tonight from the Pentagon. Russian President Vladimir Putin issued a stark warning to the U.S. and NATO during his annual State of the Nation address to Parliament. I hope that no one dares to cross the red line in respect to Russia, and we will determine where it is in each specific case. Putin spoke as Russia continues a massive military buildup on the border with Ukraine. New satellite images show dozens of fighter jets lined up on tarmacs in southern Russia and Crimea. Top U.S. military commanders warned that new threats facing the U.S. have them seriously worried for the first time that U.S. adversaries may consider using a nuclear weapon as the, quote, least bad option. The admiral in charge of America's nuclear arsenal says it's the first time in history the U.S. has had to deter two nuclear powers at the same time, Russia and China. I cannot deter with the leftovers of the Cold War forever into the future. That is a 70 eras weapon system that I'm going to have to employ against 2030 level threats. Some Democrats want to scrap one leg of the nuclear triad, the 400 ground-based missiles currently in silos across three states. The head of Strategic Command says he needs to replace, not update, those 50-year-old Minuteman III missiles. Democrats don't like the price tag. You know, we're currently spending $44.5 billion a year on nuclear weapons. And I know that Stratcom likes spending that money, but I don't. The U.S. stopped keeping nuclear-capable bombers like these B-52s in Louisiana on 24-hour alert in 1991. But Admiral Richard warns if the U.S. scraps its ground-based missiles, it would have to rely too much on submarine-launched nukes. And under those conditions, I would request to re-alert the bombers. Putin boasted today that Russia will have modernized more than 88 percent of its nuclear weapons by the end of this year. Admiral Richard says the U.S. hasn't started. Brett? Jennifer Griffin at the Pentagon. Jennifer, thank you.